Hi and welcome to a measurement video on the area of composite figures. We'll be using some formulas in this one so uh, let, let me remind you that uh, setting out of your formula is really important. It does half the work for us. So we'll be looking to put our formula on line 1 to substitute all the numbers in from the question in line 2 to then calculate and then we'll think very carefully about what units we're going to be using mostly area so uh, we'll be using square units for the most part alright so um, yeah normal length normal units perimeter normal units but we'll be checking out square units I'll be talking about that through this video okay let's have a look now composite figures they're made up of different shapes and so uh, to find the total area, we'll find the area of each shape and we'll be using sometimes a different formula for different shapes. Um, we can expect that. And then at the end, once we've found the area of each part of it, we'll add up the total area. So that's the first method. Let's have a look at that. Here is a shape. Uh, now I think you can possibly spot that it's made up of two fairly familiar shapes. Uh, a rectangle and a triangle and we can make a 90 degrees out of that there so rectangle and a triangle so here's the numbers now so we'll look to find the area of each shape separately and then add it up, add it up to find the total area so a rectangle in area one there that'll be length times breadth that's the formula for area of a rectangle our length is 6 centimeters up the top here. Let's not use our 10. That goes all the way along. But we'll use the 6 and the 5 for our rectangle. Uh, our length is 6 times 5 for our breadth. And we get an area of 30 square centimeters. And for our triangle, our triangle formula is a bit different. Half the base times the perpendicular height. We have a bit of a problem here. It doesn't look like we have a base length or a height length but we can find it out from the other bits on the on the figure if we compare the horizontal up the top there with that I've turned blue six centimeters across there and the total of the base there is ten centimeters so I think you can probably spot that we have four centimeters there ten minus six is four so that'll be the that'll become the uh, measurement we use for the base of the triangle and it's a rectangle we've got here, so that 5 centimeters on the left-hand side will be the same length as 5 centimeters on the right-hand side of our rectangle. That'll end up being our perpendicular height for the triangle. So if we look hard enough, we should be able to find uh, all the dimensions we need in the question. So let's plug those uh, numbers, 4 centimeters for the base and 5 centimeters for the perpendicular height, into our triangle area formula here. Half of 4 times 5 and that'll be 10 centimeters squared now so we've found the area of each shape we use the different formula for each but that's okay we can be careful we've set our work out nice and clearly we've labeled our work too it's clear which bit is the rectangle and which bit is the triangle don't be afraid to write in your own words what you're doing for the marker so our total area in the end is the 30 centimeters squared from the rectangle area plus the 10 centimeters squared from the triangle area giving us a total of 40 centimeters squared for the composite figure altogether. So we broke it up and did the separate areas and then added it up at the end. Method 2. Find the bigger area and then subtract the area of, of the missing bit. Now this will be clear in the question. These are, this method is uh, mostly for uh, questions where they ask us to find the shaded area such as this one here we've got a shaded big rectangle and a missing bit we only want the area or they only want us to find the area of the shaded bit so we will take that shaded rectangle and that square missing bit and subtract we'll find the, the bigger area the shaded rectangle and we will uh, find the area of the square and we will subtract those two in the previous example we added the two areas so this is a different method here Here's our numbers. We've got 10 across the top, 8 down the side, and our square has a side length of 3 metres. So our shaded area is going to be the rectangle area minus the square area. So different formulas for different things here. Not that much different, but still. 
rectangle area length times breadth. Our length is 10 and our breadth is 8. So our total area is 80 meters squared. Remember we're using square units for our area answers. Our square area, uh, that's side length. The formula for the area of a square is side length squared. Our side length in this case is 3, so we're going to square 3 and get a total area of the square of 9 meters squared. And we're going to subtract. So our shaded area in the end is 80 square meters minus 9 square meters, giving us a total shaded area of 91 square meters. Okay, so that's method two, where we find a big area and then subtract a missing bit. So we have some choices. We have a shape down here. They want us to find the area of the shape. Uh, now, we've got some choices here. We can use either of those two methods, and let me just run through. We won't do this one fully with numbers and everything, but I just want to have a look at uh, which one, which uh, method you might prefer. Method one, we could find the area of each shape and add up the total area. So we could split this, this up into uh, different shapes. We could have rectangle one and a really long rectangle two, or some students might like to break it up further and have a third rectangle there. Might be a bit more work, that one. But then we could add up each of those, add up the areas when we found each of them. Okay. We could uh, chop it down there and have a big, looks almost like a square there, find that area and area two and add them together. So you can chop it up however you like if you're careful with your working and set it out nicely. We could also use method two. Even though it doesn't have any shaded bits here, we could find a bigger area and then subtract the area of the missing bit. Can you see that this looks like a rectangle, a big rectangle, with a little bit, little corner taken out of it? And so we could find that bigger area using length times breadth for rectangles, and we could find that smaller area that I've shaded in blue there and subtract it, and that would leave us with the original area that we had. So those choices are up to you. You can use either method for most questions, really. Uh, the steps for any formula solutions we saw are uh, formula on one line, substitute all the numbers in, get your answer quickly and then check your units. And we uh, usually we were using square units for that because we were finding areas. And so that was helpful. And then the uh, our methods we had, we had a choice. We had method one where we could find the area of each part of the shape and then add it up in total. Or we could find a bigger area and uh, subtract a missing bit out of it. Method 2 is great for the shaded areas that they have in some questions, but it's also applicable to any sort of question there. So uh, pick a method and set out your work nice and carefully, um, and you should have some success. All the best with that, and I'll see you next time for some more videos. Anytime you need some help with your maths or just like some practice and some refreshing of your memory, peterblakemaths.com. See you next time for some more videos.